I'm not very good at thinking. I have six available gums. Yes, let's do this. The pattern seems to reset after hitting 12. Yes, yes, I have already s anticipated this, obviously. So, we get plus one, and then it resets. So, this goes plus one, and then it resets? Is it one? Is one the solution? Uh, should I use another gum, or should I try one? But, as I told you, then the sequence would just be one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, I hate these math, math, math puzzle games. Because I always think there are several solutions. How, how, how do you know for sure which one is the correct one? Um, no, I shouldn't go with one. I will take one more hint. What goes from 1 to 12 before starting over? What? What goes from 1 to 12? 11 before starting over. Why would 11 start over? Okay, this, this hint is confusing me even further. What goes from 1 to 12? Well, the clock. The clock goes there. Oh, wait, wait. Is it just 3? Was that it? use a higher number but if this is um, resembling a clock okay yep yeah, let's let's try that now you can see we are spending quite a lot of tax dollars and it is accepted it was the right one okay I would have never guessed that it's just a bloody clock but okay we use two hints which is quite poor um, still we are excellent apparently, even though it's still the bloody tutorial, but alright, alright, here we go. Nice try, Jim, but you see here... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry, you almost... Hey Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm gonna be taking some time off and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through Vegetable Crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed. But I can't leave it like this. The factory foreman is still missing. And there has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I've found Isaac Dabner and gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Alrighty, we are back in Scoggins, Minnesota. Uh, what is this? Oh, these are all my, my files. I can probably save and quit the game right here. Journal, field journal. Uh, can't stop thinking. Arrived in town. Need to get a room at Valdis Inn. I think this is the same hotel that we have stayed in the first game. And right now we are a passable puzzle solver. Now, mind you, this rating will only go down. Don't expect 
expect too much, but I have already seen doing the cutscene. Another gum! Yay! With strange saliva on it. Neato. Oh, there seems to be another one here. Nice. I will need all the gums that I can get. So this one and this one. Did that count? I hope. I hope it did. Yes. Um, there is another. Oh, wow. Quite a lot. Okay. Uh, I hope the game doesn't prepare me for a really tricky riddle like this. Okay. Can I go over here? Nope. Can't. Can I go over here? Nope. Alright. So, we are just going inside, I guess. Oh my, Mr. Agent Tethers. Agent Tethers, that is me. We know her from the last game. Oh my gum! Yeah, don't mind me, official agent of the Bureau of Investigations. Just taking up gum from the rug that, well, it looks rather clean, rather. Okay, let's talk to her. We need a room. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the Eraser Factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I, I mean... I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for it. Alright. Another puzzle for us. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've... er... Uh, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh, yeah. Lots of, you know, tourists. Here for the snow and, uh, erasers. Look, you can see here for yourself. Right. So Martha claims she has booked all of the rooms in the inn. Can you figure out room assignments that will satisfy everyone's requests and spare room for Nelson to stay in? Let's have a look. So, we have certain rules for this uh, specific puzzle. There are six rooms at the inn, three on each floor. The guest requests are... First, Mr. Maxwell insisted he stay on the floor above Ms. LaRue. So, um, Mr. Maxwell wants to stay on the second floor. Ms. LaRue wants, uh, needs to stay on the first floor. Or ground floor, or whatever it is. Um, plus, we know that they are not on the same floor. Um, those are information you can gather from this. Miss Dimpleton will not stay on a floor with more men than women. 
All right, all right, good to know. So probably first floor from what we've gathered from the first clue. Mr. Blesson and Mr. Carlman, which are the other two men, I suppose, um, always get rooms on the same floor. So it could be that all the men are on the upper floor. Or maybe these two are on the ground floor. Oh wait, is that all the rules already? Um, okay, I see two possible solutions right now. Oh boy, okay, yeah, that really was all the all the rules. All right, um, so no, wait, not, not that. There. Um, so Mr. Maxwell and Ms. Larue. Maxwell right here and Larue right here. Now. It says he stays on the floor above Miss LaRue, but not in the room. Uh, I don't know if it's important to put them in the correct room, but there are no, no rules for that, so I will just put them somewhere. Uh, Miss Dimbleton will not stay on a floor with more men than women. We'll take that lastly. And this is the two other guys always get rooms on the same floor. Now, if we put Blessing... Oh, right, there is no there is no third woman, obviously. Obviously. So, um, if we put the other two guys here, we can put the woman here and us right here. If we do it the other way around, have this go away, like this and like this, we would have put Dimpleton here and us here, which wouldn't work for Dimpleton. So... We'll do it like this. Dimpleton should be happy. These guys are happy. This guy is happy. And we can stay. Yep, let's submit it. <laughs> Yay! Awesome! Expected grade A plus. Oh yeah, we are top agent again. It looks like there's a room available. Hmm, well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Ah, that room is being uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. Uh, the, the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh heavens no. Of course it's not bed bugs. It's uh, uh, painters. The room's being fumigated for painters? Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. <laughs> 